Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to do uh, a cool video on uh, OS module and digging a little deeper into it. So, all right, the section we're going to look at is the uh, is the path module, and you've seen me before dig down into it and and make it very um, laser focused. This one's a little bit different. Let me show you, and this is actually best practice. So let's come up here and let's look at what is actually suggested. Because if people who take the time to write these for us, we want to make sure that we follow along and look at what they what they maybe suggest and uh, let's look path so all right um, here we go this is up close and personal looking at it and actually let's do help on oops os dot path and let's look at the documentation that they've done now also if you are new here what we do on this channel is we do micro videos where shoot did I pass it it's all right forgive me okay here we go all right this is what I wanted to show you I forgot where it was so all right I've shown like from from OS import uh, path as path or something like that. Now, instead of importing the module directly, import OS and refer to module as OS path. So, okay, what that's saying is that here's here's what I here's best practice. This is what we found to do this. So, if somebody's taken the time to do that follow those best practices so we are going to just import the whole module and then reference and then refer to this so all right the one that we're going to do today is get size so you can actually see the byte size of the folders and the files in your um, in your directory that you're currently working in so all right let's do that let's just read it and look at it right here. So help .os .path .get size. So if you are new here, okay, return the size of the file, just like that. Um, glad to have you. Make sure you're clicking the subscribe and the notification bell because we have videos coming out every single day. We have uh, four subject matters that we're going through um, constantly, so you're not getting over overloaded bored bombarded we're doing os iter tools pi game and matplotlib right now and we're just cycling through them and then if we need to do a little uh touch up or something expanded might get um, might add that in the mix so okay let's just look at what we've done and also another side note um if there's something that i'm not specifically or explicitly speaking to we've done videos on it beforehand so we just right now we're just going to be focusing on get size so all right now we're going to use um, the os dot list dir method so if you well, helps if you spell dir correctly and like I've said before this is not a spelling channel I do not guarantee spelling correct so all right for file in actually let's check this to files that's what I wanted this to be for file and files then size equals os dot path dot get size and just like here you just put the file name in so we're going to drop in file then we're going to use 
our print our string format and guess what if you don't understand or don't know what that is guess what there is a video for that so we're going to do dash dash then there one more and then close that out dot format and then we put in file then size and then what I write oh bytes that's what I did so okay what we're doing here is I want to cycle through so we're literally going to look at our directory right here all the files uh, you can't see so all right it's your current it's your local directory where your Python is and it's just going to be the same as mine programs Python Python 36 through 32 and everything in that directory or subdirectory however you want to look at it so then it's going to run through made a list then for each item through it's going to check the size then print the file name make sure okay file name size and then bytes so let's just print run and I have some indentation somewhere and what I forget anybody catch it beforehand forgot a parentheses so okay so cool this is it file name our dashes our actual size and then our bytes so that is that very cool we can start messing around in a building our own system so we can peek and look at our own stuff in our system so very cool this is one of my favorites when I started uh, learning about everything floating around so all right thanks again for watching please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and most important the notification bell and my absolute favorite uh, please leave any comments, questions, or my absolute favorite, any video requests, because I'll get to them, because this is your channel. Help, help me lead the direction that we need to go in, because I want this to be the one place where you come for everything. Because I remember learning, trying to go, look around, poke around, try to put all these little pieces together. I want it in one place for you to make your life easier. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.